Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to automatically scroll to a certain position. Be it, let's say, just wanna guide users to a certain part of your page, like a breadcrumb, or be it, let's say, something like a button which brings people back to top if they're scrolling all the way down. So let's dive right into it. As you remember, we have this mockup and you know, we have a sticky header of some logic to it already. Um, so if we preview, boom, you know, the sticky header disappears on scroll down. Now what they want to do is I have this arrow icon, if you noticed, and I want to make it a bit more clickable first and foremost, but I also, when, when the user clicks on it, I want them to be scrolled to this button down below or to this, you know, area down below. So what I would do, I would convert that to dynamic panel as usual, just to have a one single object. And I would call something like arrow down. Now what I would want to do next is on click for, for it to just take us down below and to scroll us down. Now how you can do this, you can either name one of the objects in a specific way, or you can use hotspots. And I tend to default to hotspots and just place them somewhere where I want the, you know, the page to kind of end. So let's say somewhere here. So I'm going to give a hotspot a name. Let's say scroll to one. And on click, I would want to add a new interaction. They scroll to widget anchor link. Now we just select the scroll to one, our hotspot, and that's it. I can define, you know, the direction I want to scroll. Let's say if your content is horizontal, maybe you want to scroll it horizontally and you would need to state that, otherwise it would just limit itself. And we can also animate it. So let's say, let's do ease in cubic and maybe 400 ms or so, and just preview it. Now, let's see if I click on it, as you can see, it's active already. Boom, it scrolled us down. Now it was way too quick. Um, I would want to be a bit slower, maybe let's say 600 or maybe even un 800. So it's like just under a second. And let's preview it right really quick. More like it, but I would probably ease, ease it out a little bit and add another 400 ms. And that's more like it. As you can see, it eases out rather than speeds up and eases in. Now the users can do something, but as you can see, our thing is cut off a little bit, and that's because we have a sticky header. I can either disable sticky header or place the hot slot a little bit up like this. And that would just basically allow us to kind of more or less align the things more right so I can actually focus on headline as well as call to action element. So that's how you transition and scroll to certain objects. Now in the same exact fashion, you can make a scroll back option. So let's say if a user scrolls down, we want some sort of button to appear saying, hey, scroll back up and, and then we just would scroll the view up. So I would probably copy the same button. I would maybe expand it to add a message and probably place it somewhere in a corner. If you remember my previous video, I told you how to place an item in the right bottom corner. And that's by selecting state style and pin to browser. Now here I would just enable it with checkbox. I would say on a horizontal way, right? and probably maybe give it like maybe 30 pixels or let's say maybe a bit more and bottom as well, maybe 40 pixels. So it would be bottom right corner and it's 40 by 40 spaced out. Keep it, keeping it in front of course, so it's always at the top. It's never hidden by some objects on the screen. And if we preview it, it should be always there here in the corner. As you can see it's here. We just need to restyle it and add some more behavior. And that's the easy bit. So I would go straight into it. And then it's pointing up. And what I want to do next is just add a text message. Let's see, go back to top. Increasing the dynamic panel width. 
And it doesn't really matter where you position it. Since we said it's sticky and 40 to 40, I could just place it in the center. A browser would show it somewhere here anyways, but it's good to have it there. Now, by default, we definitely want to hide it because when it's loaded, we don't want to see it, right? So I just press hidden. I'm going to just add it a name. Let's say back to top. And I also will need to edit this uh, statement because now it would just scroll us to this thing. But what we want it to do is scroll us all the way back up. So I would copy that hotspot, place it somewhere on top like so, and call it maybe scroll to top. Now I would go back to that uh, trigger, back to top, and then edit the scroll to top vertically is out cubic that's all totally fine the issue is that it's not visible and what we want to add next is a statement that let's see if the user scrolls down then it appears if they scroll up it disappears we already have similar behavior so let's say if everything is deselected as you can see interactions appear on a page itself and we say if scroll down show a sticky header now, if scroll down, we also need to add another target and say back to top, show it, maybe fade it in. And then if we scroll back up, we add another target and we see back to top, just hide it immediately. Let's test it. Boom. As you can see, it works. It appears immediately and then it scrolls back up. We can also scroll up and down like so if we want to play around but it works the only issue i see right now is that back to top appears a bit too close to the top i think we should allow users to explore a bit more so we can add a little bit of a delay i would go here insert action and then go all the way down up until wait and wait is just basically adding some time before something clicks in so let's say maybe let's add one and a half seconds and insert it between those two things. As you can see, it doesn't yet allow me to drag in between those things. So I'm gonna do, just gonna copy it, gonna remove it and add another action back to top, show fade 200 in kind of linear fashion. We're gonna show sticky header first, wait 1.5 seconds since we presume that the users are gonna keep scrolling or stop, and then show or hide the back to top. So let's preview it. Boom, as you can see, I waited for a sec for it to appear, but now there's a delay and it appears just below in, in different states. And boom, that's how you do it. And I hope this tutorial is useful. If so, leave a comment down below. Maybe you have other ways you would do this. Um, also leave a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. And I'm gonna be publishing many more sessions like these. So stay tuned for more.